Uh, but like every uh, young upstart, uh, I got caught being very stupid and greedy and uh, a little bit uh, unfocused. And what I ended up trying to do was become a new media guru, which basically took me from making thousands and thousands of dollars in college to having only $700 left to my name and no company. Uh, I basically then had the moment where I could have gone one of two paths. Uh, path A was what my mother wanted, uh, somebody who was a 25-year veteran of the New York City Board of Education, uh, where she said, Scott, you know, it's time to get a real job. And I simply couldn't accept that. So instead of that, I basically decided to take that remaining $700, uh, pound the pavement, learn from all of my mistakes, not do 1,000 things, but do one thing extremely well with extreme precision. Started a company called Sizzle It, which all we do is create promotional videos for PR and marketing professionals. We have clients today like Procter & Gamble, Dolby, The Gap, and many other large brands. Uh, and basically, I took that remaining $700 to turn into quite uh, a company that still exists today. Uh, and so basically, uh, my story is that I had to learn uh, the ropes because I put a goal for myself that I refused uh, on every single level to work the traditional nine to five, even though I had no idea what I was doing at any given moment. Uh, I pretty much learned through experience, learned through failure, most importantly, uh, and every day is a learning experience for me. <laughs> You know, listen, there, there's a lot of times I failed more than I've succeeded. I always tell all young entrepreneurs, you're going to fail and failure is good. Um, I think it's the fact that I'm willing to accept it, bounce back rather quickly and find a way to strategize to move myself forward even stronger. That makes me uh, somebody worth listening to on some level. Um, you know, the, the whole thing I talked about in my book was how much I failed where I nearly bankrupted myself, uh, you know, at a young age. And so I think that it's, it's more important than ever that young entrepreneurs take to heart that Failure is inevitable, and it's how fast you bounce back. And that's, that's the thing I love about entrepreneurship, because before you start a business, your world is basically, you're judged in all these things in a report card, and you're judged just as much for the C or the D you get as the A, but in the world of entrepreneurship, what's more important is the A's and then being able to find people who are the A in the area where you're the D. And I, I always think it's a shame when people kind of label themselves as, well, I'm bad at all these subjects. Uh, and they don't realize that some of the most successful entrepreneurs were, were also bad. You just need to be good at finding other people who could fill in your, your weaknesses. You know, it's interesting. Uh, the story really is, is that, and I, I do believe this, and, and I will say that there is no guarantees in life on anything. I mean, I could have done something amazing. I could do something crappy, and the New York Times could or, or might not have covered it. Um, a lot of it was somewhat good timing and luck, and a lot of it was I was consistent in my message for a long enough period of time that people took notice. That's a big part of PR just as a backdrop. Consistency is everything. Like if you're trying to pitch 9,000 things, the media doesn't know you as any one of them. So my whole pitch was that I believed that I could find a way to help alleviate youth unemployment. And I said that in every media outlet, I was consistent about it for years. My book was focused on it. So I think what hyping does is if you have a strategic plan that you're executing concurrently with you going out there and talking to everyone and their mother about what you're doing with as much passion and enthusiasm as you have, then you're in a good shape. It's when you're just talking and talking and talking and back up nothing that you're in a lot of trouble. As I've been building the Young Entrepreneur Council, people might not yet see the actual programs we're going to be doing, which will launch in the next two to three months, but they're seeing the council growing. They're seeing the fact that what we started when you first came on with only a couple entrepreneurs is now several hundred. So people are seeing that there's something going on. It's grassroots, it's new, it's different. The, mis the mystery of it is very interesting to them. And I think, like you said, now it's on me and the team to actually make sure at the end of the day, I didn't just scream at the wall as loud as I could uh, and hope to God that I'm gonna jump over it. In fact, now I have to make sure that we're going to do it. Um, but like I said, if you're, if you're capable to execute your vision, then hyping it's the most important strategy you can have. I think you said it really well. It's about helping people and in the process of helping anyone, to help them you have to understand them. Yeah. And when you understand them, you know, you, then you can pitch your story as a way to help them, not a way for you to get media for your business. Right. Although hopefully there's that overlap at some point. 
Right, you just want to make sure, especially, remember, two things. One, only speak to people the way you'd want to be spoken to. Would you want to receive 200 emails a day from un, you know, untargeted, unspecified stuff? I mean, I can't tell you, writing for the outlets I write for, how many times I get blanket emails that are not targeted to me on any level that sometimes even have the wrong name, Dear Sam, or some nonsense like that. Right, right. Um, a little bit of time goes a long way. That's number one. And number two is, you know, be yourself. You have one shot at this. Don't try to be somebody you're not. Don't try to say, you know, to, to give these guys a whole load of crap because at the end of the day, they're going to see right through it. They speak to many of you. And if they th see you as an authentic, credible person that can help them, whether it's by you sourcing material for them or you assisting them with quality, relevant stories to them and their outlets, you're going to have a much better chance of success. Mm -hmm.